Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Glasuta Original Sport Evolution Impact Chronograph in stainless steel. You can see this 46mm Glasuta Original Sport Evolution Impact Chronograph on our website. Purchase it there and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our complete listing for this watch with extra photos, accessories included, and of course, complete pricing information. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the Sport Evo Impact Chronograph is simply overpowering. This is a watch that feels as big and burly as another great German machine, the Bismarck. And like the Bismarck, it is massive. The bracelet attached, impressively engineered, with unique articulated intermediate links, feels like it could be the anchor chain for the Bismarck. This is a very solid timepiece. Now in terms of thickness, it's actually not overwhelming, it's very slim. Incredibly, it only measures 12 millimeters thick. I did a double take when I measured this one with the caliper because I swore at 46 millimeters across and from lug to lug, a burly 55.5, it just seems like it would be thicker. But while it is broad, and make no mistake, it is very broad, this will slip under most fairly tight cuffs or sleeves simply because it's so slim and the bezel is nicely rounded. Also, the lugs themselves are rounded off with sufficient tumble home from center to the outside that they will help a sleeve ramp up and over this watch. So don't count it out with formal attire if you have the wrist to pull it off. Now about that bracelet. It is very handsome. It's a combination of brushed and polished facets. Let me try to shine it up to do it justice because it's beautifully built. Now its shoulders feature linear satin finish. You can see that to good advantage. You can see that the outer shoulders of the tops are polished and then there's a gorgeous satin center line providing outstanding contrast down the middle. Now what really sets it apart is just how over engineered it is. Now this is like a 1980s Mercedes Benz. You can see that those intermediate links are not just there for aesthetic purposes. They actually provide exceptional articulation so that this oversized bracelet can feel quite supple and flexible around the curvature of a smaller wrist or for that matter any wrist. Now moving to the clasp, I often call out dress watches that have fully finished interior clasps, that is swing arms on the inside that are polished rather than simply raw milled clasps whose interiors feature evidence of satin finishing, reduction of milled burrs or stamped scars. You actually get that on this sport watch clasp. Although this is not a formal reference and it's accessibly priced, everything within the swing arm and the interior of the clasp is completely satin finished or polished. There are no birth scars here and it's incredibly robust. Again, solidity, tank-like solidity is really the order of the day here. Twin trigger deployant, this one's not clamshell and it's not friction fit and it includes a clever feature because the Glasuta logo is actually a trigger that enables a slider for a quick release. Now you can micro adjust to size this watch to suit or you can simply let it out all the way to fit over a diving suit. It is a very impressively built, very solid, very clever and very convenient value added addition. Now the watch itself is part of a series that debuted in late 2008 taking Glasuta Originals Sport Evo line and adding the impact moniker essentially meant that what you see outboard of the dial, these four rubber elastomers, endowed the watch with extraordinary anti-shock protection. So the size of this watch is not so much a function of fashion as it is in Bauhaus style, more a function of function. So you have these elastomers and you can see them front and back. They actually isolate, let me open up the clasp for best visibility, they actually isolate the caliber 3931 in-house chronograph movement. So you can see that the isolation ring is anchored to the bumpers 
outboard of it. So there's actually a Richard Mill style suspension and isolation of the dial and the movement itself. And this is kind of an emperor's no clothes, emperor's new clothes ambush on Richard Mill because it proves that this kind of technology can be produced at a high level at a far lower price point than the ultra high horology Richard Mill brand would lead us to believe. This is an impressive effort from Glasuta Original, partly because it's so off the beaten path for the brand. Most of the watches coming from Saxony's top two manufacturers, Langa and Glasuta Original, are very formal references. So this was really a statement of technological intent and capability by the oldest extant watchmaker in Saxony. Now you can also see that the watch is very legible. As a sports reference, it is 100 meters water resistant, so 328 feet. You can easily tell the time in high light, but also in low light or no light, as this is a fully loomed dial. Now, the caliber itself is one of the modern calibers from Glasuta. It doesn't predate the fall of the wall. So this one has a modern 4 hertz beat rate. It does hack. It does have 51 joules with a modular chronograph complication. This is an impressive effort mechanically, aesthetically, and technologically. You can see this unique Glasuta Original Sport Evolution Impact Chronograph in stainless steel and take it home on our website.